I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on SN1E1 mechanisms. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Dad Destroyer book. I want to go over a really good problem with you today involving the SN1 and E1 reactions. If you're going to propose a mechanism for SN1 or E1, you better damn well show me a good carbocation. Because if you remember, carbocations are going to be formed in this type of a mechanism. Come along and let's have a look. Now, I'm going to give you a reaction and I'm going to ask for actually three products. We're going to take this compound and we're going to treat it with water. Now, in the very first step, what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's a leaving group. Now, you might not recognize this group. Now, if you remember, there's a group called the tosylate group. Well, this is similar to the tosylate group, but it's like the tosylate group on steroids. It's called the triflate group. The minute you see an S and O's, that means it's going to be a great leaving group. A great leaving group is one that can be stabilized. So if this does leave, you would get an enormous amount of resonance stabilization. So the bottom line is, it's a great, great leaving group, even better than toast. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to let this group leave, and I form a carbocation. Now, normally a primary carbocation is not stable, but this is a primary allylic. And it's about as stable as a secondary. And as you can see, if we move the bond over, you would go for a tertiary allylic. So we have a primary allylic and a tertiary allylic. Well, if the nucleophile came in and attacked it here, and then we pulled off an H, you would get product number one. If you go to the other one, now this is going to be the major path because this is the much better carbocation. So as you guys can see, I'm going to attack the more stable carbocation, tertiary allylic, this would be much faster, pull off an H, and that would be two. Now, those two processes for one and two would be the SN1. Now, we all know that if you want to put a little heat under the, this, you would have now got more of what we call the E1 mechanism. Now, the E1 mechanism is pretty easy. Instead of water attacking this carbocation, it could have pulled off one of the H's. So I'll go up here and I'll show you what we could have got. If you pulled off the H, you would have got this for the other, other product, which would have been a minor product. We have this and then you would have got this because you would have pulled off one of the H's and that would have been the E1. So if the question asked what kind of mechanism is operating, it would be the SN1 and the E1. And we've got an excellent leaving group here called triflate, which was resonance stabilized. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of these two competing mechanisms. If you want to get more E1, usually we put a little heat under it, and that would favor the E1 over an SN1. All right, good day to you. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.